Libra, this is your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries Tarot. It is for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. It's an energy reading. So you apply it to the area in your life where it most impacts you. There's always an extended reading, which I hope you can come along for. I will attach it to the top of the description box below the video. It's a drop-down box for those of you who don't know. And I'll also attach it, I'll pin it to the top of the comments, but you can always find it at the top of the description box. Or you can join the Unbound membership to this channel. And the Unbound membership gives you access to every single extended reading, every single channel perk, and every single um, members only live chat, all the good stuff. So I hope you'll consider that as well. Uh, please remember to subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell so that you know when I upload your favorite content. All 12 zodiac signs get a new video every single week, but Libra comes out every single Tuesday at 8.30 a.m. Pacific time. Now, we're going to talk about the astrology. Wow, that's like one card that came out for you guys. Reclaim your power. See, knowing what I know about the astrology, I love that. Let me tell you what I mean. Because we're going to get, of course, we're going to get you more cards. Um, the astrology, the two major aspects that Venus is dealing with also, okay, big things, big things. Venus is still in Cancer, but it's about to go into Leo. That happens, I believe, this week. Now that's a big transfer of energy because Venus is not so particularly uh, focused. The energy is, is not focused on family or growing a family, nurturing or staying, you know, not rocking the boat, keeping things calm. It's more focused now on where do I belong in this world? What's my life purpose? Who am I? Idealism, romance. Venus is extremely romantic in Leo, but she's also very attention seeking. So if you start reacting that way, it's like, I want attention. I need attention on me. But it can also be, it's like a double-edged sword, right? How are you getting attention? Now, in the beginning of the week, there is an opposition to Pluto. What does that mean? It means that you could really be at risk for doing things that compromise your value systems, compromise your personal value, um, simply because of desperation, fear, loneliness, distress. It's an extreme reaction of like, I, I need this in my life or um, putting up with or getting into horrible things, or horrible relationships or putting up with ridiculous things in relationships just because, uh, just because, just because uh, um, you're compromised, you're, you're vulnerable for it. Um, but we also have this wonderful aspect in the beginning of the week, trying to Neptune. Now, trying to Neptune, Venus trying, trying to Neptune is very dreamy, almost kind of lost in dreams. So that could really be aiding these... Um, less wonderful tendencies when there's an opposition to Pluto, where losing yourself in dreams and fantasies are helping you to get involved or leave yourself vulnerable for spending your money on bad things or getting into bad relationships or allowing too much in relationships simply because, um, simply because you can dream it away or you, could, you have a stronger tendency to be able to ignore it right now. Now, later on in the week, uh, Venus gets trine to Jupiter. And that trine to Jupiter is also very harmonious, very beautiful, growing outside of and really like not even having a comfort zone, being curious. So this, especially when Venus goes into Leo, could make you a lot more flirtatious and adventurous. And since the opposition to Pluto drops over the weekend, now there's an intensification of how you feel about yourself and realizing um what you're not what willing to settle for anymore. This doesn't mean that you're breaking up or you're going to quit your job. It just means that there's a lot less likelihood of you being as tolerant as you've been. And there's a lot more likelihood of you actually being able to advance or make advancements in your life. Um, so let's see what else, what other cards. And that's why I was psyched when I said reclaim your power, because that's kind of what this week is all about. Like this is the perfect card or perfect theme for this week because it's getting back your sense of self, getting back even your sense, not just, just your sense of self, but 
the hold or grip you have over somebody else instead of having to constantly compromise, right? Of your value now going up. So instead of having to settle for a lower wage, being able to find options or even make people realize that, hey, I'm not gonna stay around if I don't get paid what you owe me. Um, or if there has been some sort of financial distress that you've had to settle for, or even in some ways, like we do things when we're really sad or scared or desperate, um, really, um, that make us be more harmful, um, especially when the, with the opposition to Pluto, be more dominant or be more manipulative. Well, that's not powerful. That's fearful right? It's manipulative. It's like anybody who seeks power outside of themselves has no control over themselves. And that's why they seek it externally. So this is like reclaiming your sense of you, reclaiming your sense of, of um, strength, reclaiming your sense of esteem, reclaiming your sense of dignity and integrity um, so that you don't settle in any way for how you treat others or how you let them treat you. So reclaim your power. There's definitely a sense of influence that you are getting back this week. Influence, um, strength, ability, and value that you're getting back this week. Then we have time to heal. This is also kundalini energy, which means sort of being fired up from the gut, like internally, having somebody tw something twist and grind inside of you, letting that expulsion of the toxins actually generate a kind of um, propulsion for you. So it's a healing energy. I know it sounds kind of wacky and crazy. We always associate snakes with like the devil or bad things, but in the spiritual community, that is not what they are. They're actually medicine. They're healing. Um, it's like get the venom out, take the venom out. Or if you have survived the venom, your body actually gets stronger. I'm not telling you to walk in and get bit by a snake. I'm saying this all metaphorically. Like how has the venom made you stronger, right? It's like you're coming out the other side of any kind of toxicity stronger. Um, and then we have be loyal to what you love. So that's also just a sense of realizing what you love and realizing what your priorities are, realizing where you stand and having power in that realization because now you know what's important and you know what fat to trim as in what's not important or what you, you don't have to care or you don't have to worry about if this doesn't work out, who gives a shit? If it's not aligned with my top priorities, it's not a big deal. And then we have time for a deep dive, which is usually love and romance. And this is ac actually Libra energy, a sense of partnership and togetherness. There's also a level of attractiveness here, being very appealing, being very appealing. And that comes with people recognizing or seeing your value. So it's almost like, I'm gonna say this, I know that sounds tacky, cause you're not a commodity, but it's almost like in metaphor, your stock just went up by like 500 points. And and that's going to be that's going to help you out a lot in whatever you do, whatever conversation you enter. There is a little tension like a tense aspect later on this week um, with Mercury, which just means that communications or even thought processes can get kind of convoluted, but it doesn't mean it, it won't get in the way of your value. Bring your ideas to life. Are you starting on or working on something entrepreneurial or something artistic or creative? Because it's a very creative time for you, especially with the trying to Neptune and then Jupiter. It's almost like you'll dream the things and then they'll just come bursting out of you. So everywhere you go this week, definitely have a pad, a pen, a paper to write something down. Maybe you record things into your phone. Like don't let those ideas pass you by because this week they kind of just be flowing out of you. Um, and it doesn't mean like all of a sudden they become valuable, but they will become valuable. So if you've been looking for guidance or feeling uninspired, that's gonna change this week. That's gonna change this week and definitely opportunities because bring your ideas to life is something coming from conceptual into reality. So you're actually speaking about it, talking about it. 
time to heal there has been maybe some issues between you and a loved one or you and your sense of worth when it comes to a loved one especially maybe there's been some compromise in your family but now there's just uh, this week is like an opening up of your understanding that you are actually valuable and that they do actually value you and people actually um, being able to show love to you. But I feel like it's more, I just feel like it's more you. I feel like it's more you, Libra, when you're just like, I want this. And so I'm going after it. It's almost like an energy rush. If that makes any sense to you at all. A time to heal, time for a deep dive and bring your ideas to life. If you have been holding on to toxicity because of loyalty, the things that you have been settling for, the things that you have been allowing and overcompromising, and overcompromising means you've been given way too much just to keep the situation balanced but that's not really balance is it when you have to like fucking like a uh, twister you remember that game twister your body to be able to step on the other side of the scale because they're still not pulling their weight but you're pretending they are by putting more of your weight over there you're getting stretched really thin so this is a sense of being able to speak up about that or mention that, talk about it, or even at least realize that, and not maybe to the detriment of the relationship or the situation, however it's impacting your life, but definitely to kind of bring back your sense of personal beauty. And this could be something that you're doing with your personal beauty, is like feeling beautiful again, having the energy to do what you need to do. That could be diet, that could be nutrition, that could be your hair. Um, um, definitely Venus trine Jupiter, definitely Venus. Yeah, definitely Venus trine Jupiter is a wonderful time to sort of like dive into something new cosmetically, but, but in opposition to Pluto, like wait till after this weekend, because if Venus is still opposite Pluto, you could be willing to spend too much because you're trying too hard. And this is kind of the culmination of realizing two, 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 you don't have to try hard. You don't. So this is, this is being able to reclaim your power to make decisions based on your personal worth as opposed to your desperation for other people to see your worth. It's like, am I getting, I'm not saying that any of you out there are doing this, but it's like, okay, am I getting my hair dyed this style? Am I getting Botox? Because I think people will love me more because I look like this. Or am I doing it because I love to do it and I want to look like this. There has been a shift or a weakening, a devaluization, if you will, of your sense of self over the past week, week and a half, where you may be going too far or doing too much to even your physical self. But now it's like, listen, I don't give a shit if you like blonde hair, I'm going pink or I'm, I'm dying at black, or I'm dying at purple and pink, because I and my creative nature has come back online, and I'm gonna make me what I am, not what you want me to be. You're gonna love me as I am, you're gonna want me as I am, or you're gonna go fuck yourself. That's the kind of energy that's coming back online because it was compromised, okay? Let's get this, and then let's kind of see other people's reaction to you. Aries energy. You may be meeting somebody because this is Aries energy. This is Aries and Leo. This is your sense of self and your sense of personal purpose. This is definitely taking action and being like creating the self. Who do I want to be? Like taking action on creating the, the version of you that you, you want to be and you want to share. This is absolutely working on a creative project, whether it's a composition or a book or a business, whatever it is that you're creating and building. This is you bringing it to light, bringing your ideas to life. And actually they're not concept anymore. You're saying, hey, value me. You're, it's almost like you're ready to present your proposal to somebody. You're ready to present your novel to somebody. You're ready, why? You're ready not because just the creative thing is ready, you finished it, or you've gotten it to a point where you are ready for it to be seen. And here's, here's the more important part. It's because you're actually ready 
to not compromise or think, hey, to sell this, I have to sell out. No, and that's actually perfect. It's like your sense of self-esteem comes back online after this weekend. And you have more faith and a, a deeper understanding of, of why you're valuable and why you can't compromise or let anybody else compromise that value. So Aries energy is 100% about the sense of self and taking action on something that I need to create for me or my creation of who I am. So if you have been hesitating when it comes to applying for that new position or applying for school, or like I said, presenting your idea to somebody, you will not hesitate now. You sort of have a push that's coming into your life. There could also be somebody in your life, if there is an Aries, you could be meeting an Aries, or there's somebody that's already important to you um, that is an Aries or has a tremendous Aries or even Leo energy, because Apollo works with the sun. But Apollo is definitely sort of that, that just beautiful guide, that sense of like self-worth and self-power. Um, there's also just some valuation. If there has been a lacking, there's about to become a burst of resources to catch up with that. And whether it's coming from somebody outside of you or you yourself, it doesn't matter because it is going to impact your life. So that's some damn good news. Um, I want to get a, I want to get a moon card for you guys because we have a full moon coming this week full moon in Aquarius, which is trying to Libra, which is really important energy for you. Um, all about we're in this together, a sense of community, a sense of friendship, a sense of, I don't know, using your community, um, unveiling yourself to a community, sharing your idea to a community, like bringing that forward. This is definitely a time to bring your gifts forward and sort of offer them up to the public. We have expect powerful change and we're going to dig deeper into what this means in the extended. And then we have conclusions are within reach. Bam, that's eclipse energy. And then we have a new start is coming. All of this means that there is something brand new that you are finally ready to initiate. Uh, expect powerful change. I mean, for me, that could actually be a tower moment, um, but not in a bad way, just in a sense of something clicks. Something clicks where you're just, you're just, you, you are certain at this point. You're certain of, you know, I don't know. You're certain of, I, I've, I've tried, I've, I've worked this hard. I've, you know, I've kind of like, I've, I've attempted this stuff. Um, either it's worth it or it's not. If you have been hemming and hawing, and I know for Libra energy especially, the concept of your brain is to always weigh both sides. So decision-making can be challenged. And that's what especially your sense of um, self-esteem, self-belief and stuff has been compromised. But this is when it stops being compromised. It comes back online and you're actually able to clearly make a choice clearly make a choice and it may be having something to do with what somebody says how somebody talks how somebody is behaving so watch that but i want to start seeing a little bit more we're going to dig into these these details but i want to start seeing a little bit more about who is this apollo person it may it may be you it may be a metaphor for you but who is primarily okay who is this apollo this aries i feel like it's just taking action being able to create yourself having self-esteem eight of cups you may be walking away from an aries or you may be walking away from somebody that is very much all about themselves you may be just emotionally done you also could be just because you feel good about yourself and this is because remember venus is trying to jupiter um and jupiter is in aries so is chiron but ultimately there's just this sense of just knowing that you have more in you and going after it this is a sense of realizing what doesn't work for you and leaving it behind, including not feeling good about who you are. The sun card is here, Leo is here again. This is the king of wands. 
I mean, you have either you're dealing with a Leo, guys, or you're just dealing with your own sense of self. And I told you, Venus moves into Leo. So there is a sense of real romance, especially with an Aries energy, Aries, uh, Leo, maybe Sagittarius, but some sort of fire energy, falling in love with somebody who is extremely creative because they fuel and believe in your creativity too, right? Help, they're helping you, they're helping you to push, they can be more of a support, whatever, because everybody has been lagging. This whole couple of weeks has been about making it real hard for any moves or like struggle complications coming up. And this is like a huge breakthrough. Somebody being able to really contribute to not only your life, but also what inspires you. Let's go to the extended because I wanna get deep down into what this powerful change is, like how you can expect that it's coming and what is this new start. Let's answer those questions. Link is below. I'll see you guys there.